New data from the Marine Mammal Center found 30 confirmed cases of harassment of seals, sea lions, and otters in San Luis Obispo County in 2022. The center says it's part of a bigger issue. KSBY's Kimberly Cruz followed them today as they work to fight the issue. We are at the Marine Mammal Center here in Morro Bay. Now these pens that you see behind me are where the animals that are rescued are brought to to receive care. Now I actually want to show you something because they have an elephant seal pup that was rescued today. Their name is Kispy. Now the center is working alongside local businesses in Morro Bay to try to just spread the message on how to keep our wildlife safe and protected. The marine wildlife on the Central Coast draws people in year round, but some areas are becoming harassment hotspots for these animals. We rescued 160 marine mammals that were being harassed on the beach before they were actually rescued. And that accounts for about a quarter of all of the marine mammals that we rescued along our 600 miles of California coast. The center says one thing they discovered was how underreported these harassment cases were. San Luis Obispo County ranked third in negative human interaction cases. That includes Morro Bay, Avila Beach, Oceano Dunes, and Cayucas. And what we found was um, the most common type of harassment was uh, crowding the animal while it was resting on the beach. Um, but we also saw a lot of ve very severe types of harassment, which included touching the animal, dragging the animal, trying to feed the animal. All of these behaviors that are really a safety risk for the animal, but also for the people. The Marine Mammal Center is now working hand in hand with local businesses to target beachgoers and tourists with a message about protecting our marine wildlife. Unfortunately, we aren't able to control what people do once they're out in the water, but um, what we can do here is before we send them out, we can talk to them about keeping safe distances from the wildlife here and the benefits it does to keeping the distance. For Morro Bay Paddle Sports, it's their daily mission to inform all of their customers before heading onto the water. We recommend 100 feet that way when people see them, they can get to see them and enjoy the experience, but also the animals aren't being disrupted because this is their home too and we want to respect that. So many of the animals or the marine mammals that strand on the beach are usually in distress um, and so they are wasting a lot of energy if they're being disturbed, harassed, um, and that can cause a lot of different um, you know, health concerns for that animal. Now they want the community to keep in mind these three things when going to the beach. Maintain your distance, use your zoom if you're taking pictures, and if you see any marine mammal in distress, make sure to call their hotline number. That number is 415-289-SEAL. In Morro Bay, Kimberly Cruz, KSBY News. The Marine Mammal Center says they now have a strong baseline to make year-over-year -year comparisons going forward, including enhanced data collection and reporting. On average, the organization rescues 600 to 800 animals annually.